Okay, this one's on spring characteristics. This has a little bit of math in it later on, so I decided to help you guys out. Introduction. Not all springs are the same. Some springs are stiff, while others are weak, soft. In this way, each spring has its own characteristics. The pitch of the spring is a distance between the two coils. That's this distance right here. The greater the distance between the coils, the stiffer the spring. So click on the arrow of the pitch. All right, now you see two springs alongside each other. They are made of the same material and of the same thickness. Which one's stiffer? Well, this one has a greater pitch, so this one's the stiffer one. All right, so now we're gonna go into looking at millimeters, centimeters, and uh, meters, okay? So, this is all in centimeters. So if we start counting here per centimeter, this would be five centimeters, 10, all up to 45 centimeters. Okay, so now we, it's asking us to drag the 100 Newton block onto the spring and use the ruler to measure. So if we do that and measure with our ruler, we see we're at five centimeters. All right. So to show this on this scale of meters, they want us to convert it to meters. So five centimeters would be 0 0.05. Okay, so here they want us to drag the 200 Newton weight on. And we see it's 10 centimeters. So we need to go to 0.1. And now the 300, go ahead and measure, we're at 15, so we're at 0.15. Okay. So now this is asking us to examine the graph. Here's our three measurements we got. 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.5. You see it's a straight line. So which spring characteristic does this spring have? Progressive, degressive, or linear? Well, linear, as the load of the spring increases, the spring will compress proportionally. That means it will continue to progress by the weight, so 100, 200, 300, it's an even amount of weight, so it's an even amount of progression. So this one was linear. Now we're going into a new spring here. We're gonna drop the 100 on there. Measure, we see it's 10. So we're gonna go 0.1. Okay. Now we're gonna drop the 200. Measure that. We see it's 13. So let's put 0.13. And now let's drop the 300. We see it's 15. Okay. So let's look at the graph now. See it swoops up. Well, it's not linear, so it either has to be progressive or degressive. As the load on the spring increases, 
and it's been increased 100, 200, 300, the spring will compress less proportionately. So it's pro less proportionately, it's less linear. So that'd be progressive. Now, here we have a new type of spring here, but it's still nonetheless a spring. And let's measure this. This is very hard to see. So it's about uh, half a centimeter. So about five millimeters. So the measurement here is going to have to be 0 0.005 because it's half a centimeter. So we have to break it down into millimeters down here. Now let's measure 200 newtons. It looks about one and a half centimeters. So here we'd have to put in 0 0.015. Okay. Let's drop to 300. Pull our measurement. It looks like it's four. So point zero four. Let's check that. That's good. So here we see our arc. Which spring characteristic does this spring have? As the load on the spring increases, the spring will compress more proportionally. So it's compressing more by the force. So it's degressive. And that's the end of that lesson.